Keep your head down. Oh. A bloodthorn attacked the town and took control of the place. We've been sent to keep an eye on things, but we're not to engage the enemy. Still, something about all this bothers me. I just can't put my finger on it. Something's definitely not right in the village. Whatever the Bloodthorn are up to, it's taking a lot of effort. They're moving around a lot, and we've seen boats sailing into and away from the docks. Maybe the Red Rook bandit we caught knows more. He says his name's Tamian Selen. We caught him trying to sneak past us into the village. Dame Clarique's convinced he's up to no good, but I'm not so sure. Maybe you could talk to him. I'm just glad there were some survivors at the mill. It could have been so much worse. Please, they won't listen to me. It's true that I used to run with the Red Rooks, but I quit. I hate all the chaos they're causing in Glenumbra. Now I just want to help save my town. But the guards don't believe me. The guards caught me sneaking around. They don't believe I'm trying to save the village. The Bloodthorn are gathering the villagers at the docks for sacrifice. They kill them and raise them as zombies. I don't want my friends to end up like that. My father's a mage. His signature spell is a spell of hiding that I know can protect the villagers. If you can reach our house and prepare the spell, I can rescue the villagers and meet you there. You just need to convince Dame Clarique to free me. It's called Marion's White Mask. My father loves to name his spells after himself. When cast on a building, the spell cloaks everyone inside in a shroud of misdirection makes anyone who looks see something other than what's really there. My father used to scare me with a spell. He'd cast it on his workshop and make himself look like a hooded specter in a white mask. We argued about it. A lot. I never found it as funny as he did. I don't know where he is. He was in the village before the attack and I fear the worst. My father and I, well, we didn't always get along. That's why I joined the Red Rooks in the first place. I just hope he's still alive. As if the problems in Camlorn weren't enough, we have cultists and bandits harrying our flanks. I've been assigned to keep an eye on the situation here, and my vigilance paid off. We captured one of those Red Rook bandits. You talked to him, didn't you? Why exactly do you trust this bandit? I'm not even convinced there are any villagers left alive in there to save. We haven't seen anyone but the cultists. I suppose that's a good point. If what he's told us is correct, we wouldn't see the villagers anyway. He says they're being kept down by the docks. Very well. I'll let the bandit go. I just hope I don't regret this. Thanks for giving me this chance. I'm going to sneak past the Bloodthorn now. Please don't be alarmed. I just let a bandit go on your word and he vanished in a cloud of smoke. If you're going to do something, do it. Don't make me regret this.
cast my spell. The masking ritual. But why? Damien? Here? I hoped he would return. There's no time for that right now, though. We need to act before the Bloodthorn cultists cause more damage. <clears throat> the Bloodthorn have been draining my essence to fuel their necromantic rituals. They're transporting the animated dead from the docks. They've sent zombies as far north as Kath Madro, and Daggerfall is next. <clears throat> I'm imprisoned in a pocket plane of oblivion. I think I can use the magic I still possess to collapse the plane and end the ritual. But in case I fail, you need to burn the Bloodthorn's boats. Don't let any more zombies leave the village. I'm glad to see the spell worked. That should keep these villagers safe. I heard you talking to my father, though. I hope you're not going to pursue his foolish plan. It's too dangerous. Oh, it'll work, but it's idiotic. As usual, my father only takes into account the big picture. He's going to collapse his prison. I'm not an expert in pocket planes, but that doesn't sound healthy. He's going to kill himself to stop the ritual. I can't let that happen. I'm going after him. I owe you, friend. You'll find a way to deal with the cultists. The Bloodthorn took control of a house in the center of the village. That's where we'll begin to search for my father. I'll get some things together and meet you there. Thinking, coming in here after me. The Bloodthorn will escape! My son said that. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to berate you. I can still collapse this plane. The Bloodthorn may escape, but we'll stop the necromantic ritual here and now. I'll follow you back to the portal. about you. Bloodthorn cultists followed you into the house. I got the drop on them and guarded the portal until you returned. They're upstairs, 
See for yourself. Now that my father is safe, I want to get out of Glenumbra. I'm through with this place. And I don't want Dame Clarique to put me back in chains. You should go speak to her. I need some time with my father. Thank you for freeing me. It wasn't the choice I would have made, but I appreciate being able to see my son once more. I'll do everything I can to make this right. We just watched boats filled with Bloodthorn cultists sail away from the docks. What happened down there? I hope it was worth it. Those Bloodthorn cultists will cause trouble elsewhere, no doubt. There's some consolation that you stopped the necromantic ritual, however. We'll take care of the remaining cultists and their zombies. Dame Clarique filled us in on what happened. I wish we could have gone in there with you instead of that bandit. <laughs> 